Hi guys, it's Michael here for the Tech Guy Reviews. In this episode, we will be reviewing a way to turn on and off a Nestor interior lighting kit with a Rundo three-port car splitter power adapter. I purchased the Nestor interior lighting kit from my Tesla Model 3, as my previous vehicle had a lot more interior lighting options. After installation of the Nestor interior lighting kit, while I really liked the kit, I was very disappointed to find out that there wasn't really a great way to turn the lights on and off. That is primarily because in a Tesla, when sentry mode is active, the auxiliary power outlet provides a constant power to any devices that are connected to the, the car. This presents a problem for the lighting, since that means it's always on. Nestor does provide two ways to shut the lights off. Firstly, there is a power switch on the auxiliary power of the lights. Flicking this switch will allow you to turn the lights on and off. I tried this, however, after a while of having to repeatedly open the center console, remove the tray, and flick the switch, I found it became very cumbersome, especially since the power plug itself actually sticks out a bit. So when you put the tray back in, it was very easy to accidentally turn the lights back on. Secondly, Nestory does provide an app that you can download called the LED lamp. This app is available for iOS and Android. The app itself is very basic, but it allows you to customize the lights with different colors and different brightnesses. While this worked very well for me for the first few weeks of owning the lights, I've noticed after time, the app itself starts having trouble connecting to the lights. So as a result, I've had to touch the power button on and off and see if anything happens. If it doesn't, which it really didn't, I would have to click the arrow at the top, click the LED BLE icon, and wait to see if it connects. This isn't very convenient. I also tried to use Apple shortcuts with an NFC tag, but unfortunately the app doesn't support this. While I could use the shortcuts to open the app when I clicked the tag, the experience itself just, it really wasn't that great. So I searched Amazon and Google to see what other options I could find. I then came across the Rundo three-port car splitter with touch sensor switches. The Rundo unit provides a three-port car splitter, meaning you can split your main auxiliary power outlet into three separate power outlets. It also comes with a touch sensor power switch, which allows you to turn on and off the power for each of the three outlets or USB port, just with the touch of a finger. You can also adjust the brightness of the LED and customize a power on delay and an auto power off function. Included with this particular package is a temperature display, which I won't be using. Inside the box, you'll find a user manual. You also have the Rundo unit and a touch sensor. There is also a USB thermometer cable. Inside the packaging is some 3M tape, a fuse, and some cable clips. As you can see here, I have installed the Nestor dashboard light. While I know some Tesla Model 3 owners have foot lighting, in my particular standard range plus, it didn't come with it. So, the Nestor provides the best option. I was able to install the LED footlights and get the lighting I wanted. Finally, there's also the main console lights as you can see here. So if we open up the center console here, you'll notice that the Nestor lighting kit power is connected to the auxiliary power outlet. We can disconnect this and plug in the Rundo power. The 
you notice, the touch sensor lights up right away. You can now plug in the NESTOUR lighting into one of the outlet ports of your choice. Now with this installed, there is no longer any need to open up the console every time you want to turn on or shut off the lights, don't need to move any trays, don't need to flick the switches, and you don't need to fuss around with any apps. It just works. So as you can see here, I was able to run the wiring underneath this panel on the center console here. This allowed me to mount the touch sensor by the steering column. If you hold the power button on sensor, you can customize the startup delay and the auto off settings. If you touch the power button, it shuts everything off completely. Overall, the Rundo Power Adapter with the Nestor Lighting Kit seems to be the perfect fit for a Tesla Model 3. And it definitely fills that void from the Nestor Lighting Power option issues that I was having. If you're going to install any kind of third-party lighting inside of your Tesla, consider getting the Rundo Power Adapter as it really makes it so much easier to turn the lights on and off. If you like my video, please consider subscribing for more.